This is an Indian fable, of the six blind men and the elephant. And, uh, and the idea here is that these blind men are asked to interpret an elephant merely by feeling him. And the guy who feels the leg says, it's, it's, it's a pole. The guy who feels his stomach says, it's a wall. And the guy who feels his trunk says, it's a rope. Now, they're all correct from their points of view, but nobody sees the elephant, the whole elephant. Similarly, convergence, or the definition of convergence, depends on where you're at and where, how you're looking at the space. So there is no one definition. There is no one perspective. It depends on your you know, point of view, your vantage point. I'm reminded of the, uh, another phenomenon of convergence that we saw, or at least we thought we saw, 10 years ago, which also is a lesson in how quickly these things happen or don't. And that was the emergence of the so-called PDA. Remember the Newton, 1995, 93, 94? That was the converged device, right? Um, now, except that everybody wanted to play in that device space, the PDA space. Apple, playing in the space, said, it's a computer. Bell South had something called the Simon. I don't know if any of you recall that. It looked like a cell phone. Casio or Sharp had a machine called the Zorus. It looked like a calculator. Okay. So, and Motorola had a device called the Envoy. It looked like a pager. So they all thought they were doing convergence in that world, but they were all still propagating their own point of view and their own religion, and they weren't seeing the whole elephant. If there is one way to see the whole elephant, it is do not take anybody's point of view except the customers. That is the only unifying construct that I see. That's what's common across all of us. We all ultimately, somebody pays the bills. And it's what they define, if it's the benefits that they get out of a convergence, that's where we got to work backwards from. Okay? But having said that, let me point out three key views, or three key perspectives on convergence. I think the first view is the network view or the infrastructure view. And here, this is the vision of the next generation network or everything over IP, E, -O -E over IP or everything over IP. And this where we can talk about platform convergence, technology convergence, you know, fixed mobile convergence as we talked about this morning. And another interesting thing that I see, which is the convergence of the telecom, datacom world with the broadcasting world. Something I want to spend some time talking about because I think those are, those are some areas where opportunities are uh, emerging for carriers to participate in the uh, multimedia, whether it's on mobile or fixed devices. Uh, so as well as convergence of public and private networks, you know, uh, which is you know, VPNs and so on and so forth. So that's one view of convergence, which is what's happening on the network end. But from the end user perspective, there's another way of co what convergence means to them. And I think you heard this morning about it's about ease of use. It's about seamlessness. In fact, convergence is best when I don't see it as an end user. So I have one device, one bill, you know, and, and, and regardless of where I go, I preserve the application and the functionality and the bandwidth of my. Uh, so that's, that's sort of about from the. But the other aspect of this is actually a paradoxical, which is, while everything, I, while this, the network and the device, I'm completely agnostic to that, but what I am very specific about is the preferences. So this very convergence, one bill, one provider, one network, allows personalization also, high degree of personalization and context specificity of services. Uh, so while you're independent of location, independent of network, independent of device, you can get the same functionality, but it is very, very specific to individuals. And then there is the device view. And the device view you heard this morning was about everything connected. And here, actually, I'm going to touch on some additional aspects. Some of you alluded to that this morning in your questions. That there's another very interesting phenomenon convergence in a neighboring industry where I spent a lot of time. I spent a lot of time in Redmond, and I was recently with Sony. Uh, so there is an interesting convergence between the PC and the television. So media and computing are coming together. And that impacts communications. Uh, because all these three, that's sort of the triple, triple play idea, which I'm going to spend some time on. Uh, of course, the phone and the TV are coming together, fixed and mobile devices are coming together, and you are seeing phenomena like the IP phones, IP PBX, or IP television.